I have a big heart. When has it ever been established that, um, that Bandana Waddle Dee has a heart condition? She never, so we never said, who, who would you punch in the Nintendo universe? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, like a quick pick would probably, ooh, probably be Bowser if I knew I wouldn't get that hurt. I'd say Porky. Ooh, oh, yeah, Porky sucks, you're right. Yeah, I'd want- I'd want- I'd want to, like, pick Porky up by his feet and swing him into a wall. Dude, I- I doubt you even have the muscle for that. Oh, yeah, he is about 300 and so pounds. <laughs> Same. Canonically. Same, and you can't pick me up by my feet. Exactly. You can pick me up by my earlobes. Yeah, well, those weigh less, though. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah, long. Porky- all of Porky's weight is, um, is registered under his legs. Hang on. Legally. Legally, yeah. he has to get him registered at the DMV. <laughs> he has to go through the 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 way stations whenever he's driving on a highway. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, get to the cannon. Whoop. The cannon. Let's go. Ah. All right, boys, let's sit comfortably like we're sharing a toilet. <laughs> Speed it up. I love the like the background with the little with the sand ball and sand fountain. The sand ball. <laughs> God damn, Bismarck. Shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the bulim anorexic. Flying <laughs> don't exist. Well, I really, I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they offset each other, and then I fill with gas. Guys, um... You stupid fuck. Not necessarily, like, a very serious conversation, but did you guys ever... How do we get those? Is there a way we can get those? Yeah, down there. But we don't... It's just for the amusement park thing. Oh, it's shit, really okay. But did you guys ever want to go to E3? Who? Yeah, it got cancelled. I know, I know. I'm just, th that's why I was asking, because I heard that uh, E3 for 2023 was cancelled. Um, I mean, it's kind of unfortunate, but it's also like, they weren't going to bring any big pull in now that everybody gets to watch, watch their favorite game announcements online. Um, I did as a teenager, then I found out people fucking smell. Oh yeah, dude. So I'm not going to fucking... Don't you think people would smell at E3? Fucking get out of here. I think people would try not to smell at E3. They don't try. That's the thing. No, I mean, like, like people would try not to breathe in. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, scared me. So E3 is not like a fancified booger or something? A fancified <laughs> booger? Yeah, like, I don't know. I was just... It, like, it's not like a... Like an upper class thing. It's just a bunch of fucking, like, typical nerds. Is that what you're saying? I like, think you really can... Is? I think you can get tickets to go to E3. Or you could at some point go to E3. Um, and not just be like a member of the press or something. Yeah, I think I think originally like like late 90s or so It was like yeah, you had to be like the from fuck? press or from a company or something. Ah, but now yeah I, I mean in the later days of its life you could uh you could get access. Ah! Oh My god, that was close. But yeah, we just watch online. Yeah, and even then I'm only really there just to watch Nintendo Yeah, <laughs> it's like not much else interests me. The smell factor always comes to mind more when I Hold see on, like sec. um just got to raise this. Go on. More like when I see like uh like uh, any usually magic but whatever card tournament and I see a bunch of fucking people next to each other. I remember reading about how uh there was this one like very big magic tournament like I guess like an American regionals tournament and one of the rules was like shower. Yeah. Just fucking shower. <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing um I saw like an advertisement for like a card game store on TikTok. Uh huh. And they had like one of their rules is like shower. <laughs> if you smell bad, you can't come in. That's which such is like wearing a press sprint. Which is like a, a good like rule, but it's funny that that had to be made. It's sad That's that it had to be made. It it's it's depressing that so many people that the that the rule has to be like enforced. Oh my god, it's so weird to think about. Take a phone. Yeah, dude, that's why, I, like, I don't stay D of cons, just like, nah. Yeah. Specific cons. Oh my god, you had, a uh, Dio hair for a sec. Yeah. Um... I mean, I would go to Nam. Hmm. I feel like, like, any big music convention like that would be fucking rad. That's bonkers. I feel, I feel like musicians are a little less smelly than nerds. I feel like... Specifically weaves. Well, cause I think, um... I think musicians are a specific type of nerd, but I think they're also conditioned in specific ways to be less... Smelly because like as a musician if you either your hobby or your profession Makes it so that you have to be around people like all the time And if you're not hygiene if you don't have a proper sense of hygiene by that point then people are gonna tell you I But mean, if go on 
the, I was gonna oh, say, oh, like, what's early Guns N' Roses has stories of, like, fucking groupies would be, like, fucking slashes, uh, slashes, like, socks would be all fucking crusty, and oh. uh, they'd wash their, like, clothes. Poor groupies. That's disgusting. I'm sorry that they had to be around Guns N' Roses in the first place. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure there's a lot of, like, young musicians that are, like, starving that... We're not like starving, but you know what I mean. They've like just fallen on like hard times. Yeah, they're like that. Probably don't even think about that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm gonna be completely honest. I remember like very early in the in the BHL lifespan or the li- our lifetime, uh, I had to be reminded to wear deodorant because like I my whole thing was like, oh, I thought I only had to wear deodorant when I'm like planning on a uh, on being really sweaty. I was like, no, I gotta wear it every day because my sweat is just naturally fucking horrendous. Every day is really sweaty, baby. I know. I'm sweaty now. Yeah, but, you, but you got that deodorant? Um, but yeah, man, I remember seeing like a like a TikTok of some guy at a con that was like interviewing cosplayers. And they're like, who are the smelliest fans? <laughs> and literally all of them said My Hero fans. <laughs> like, literally all of them. Even the My Hero fans, people that would dress like My Hero fans. Yeah, because they would know best. <laughs> yeah, they're like My Hero fans. That's so sad. Play, um, Wonderwall, Alexa. Play, play Darude Sandstorm. We missed Gangnam something! Style. We missed something! It's called a bullet. We missed something. <laughs> You got a fucking bullet through the head? Shh, <laughs> Bismarck's just fucking like, I'm cruising from here. <laughs> if Bismarck doesn't have Bismarck doesn't have the play anymore. <laughs> I love the hammer ability. I love it. I'm gonna once I die again, I'm gonna go back to being regular Kirby because I like a lot of the abilities. You can't be regular Kirby, but you can be a different color Kirby. <laughs> I can't be white Kirby. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's my dream, bro. <laughs> he goes around surfing. He wears like light blue uh, cargo beach shorts. Yeah, his his parents a have a huge. His parents gave him a huge trust fund so he can afford to have like a. F- oh, sick! So he can afford to have like like a lot where he can do his like art projects and like sell art in Santa Monica without having to like get like a more than twenty hour job. And then whenever you have a conversation with him, he's just like, "What do you mean you've never gone skiing? What? Your family's never taking you?" That's like child abuse, honestly. <laughs> oh, oh. But like when we go, we just like we just stay at my family's cabin, so we don't even really spend a lot of money. So it's like cheap. Yeah, we went to our family's beach house <laughs> up near San Francisco in South Salito. So we didn't even have to pay for like hotels or anything. It's just like inexpensive. <laughs> no, you can go. Oh. Please. <laughs> <laughs> please don't speak of South Salito. <laughs> honestly, like I'm I'm jealous that you're poor because you have all that work experience. Like like I don't have that, you know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I, I don't- this person doesn't even exist and I want them to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, they exist. <laughs> they exist, oh, buddy. God. You ever been to college? I was, for yeah. a bit. Oh, I forgot about that. You went to- where'd you, where'd you I went to Cal State LA for like two years. You never um, talked to the rich nah. white people? I tried not to. <laughs> I knew a good few. Um, I knew somebody who was way more socially conscious, but was still came from like, rich white people. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember I went to their- their place once. Um... And I was asking them, like, oh my gosh, like, how much... (laughs) No, because it was a relatively small place. Uh And I asked them, like, hey, how much do you pay for this place? I mean, like, it's it's still relatively... What should we go for? (sighs) Nice. It's, like, still relatively small, but it was also pretty, like... Like, cool for being in L.A. It was like, oh, two people can live here comfortably. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how much do you pay for this? And I was like, actually, my, my, uh, my parents just let me use this place. (laughs) It was like, my parents, I have a home in, like, some rich suburb in Pasadena, and they also have this place. And they were originally gonna rent it to somebody. (laughs) Um, (laughs) but then, you know, I was going to college near, nearby. I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. (laughs) That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Fork it over. <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> no, they were they were a cool person. Like back then, I also wasn't entirely like, you know, leftist. So mm-hmm. I was like, "This is neat." Mm-hmm. Wow. 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 Do we have to kill these things? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> they just have to kill us. Then we're supposed to kill them. Fuck. My hammer. No. My hammer. No. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'll be right back. Be right back. Be right back. <laughs> Jesus, goddamn. 
What in God's? That's oh. what I'll do. Let it's me swing. That's a <laughs> swinging. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Did you say it's winky? Yeah. It's winking. Uh, oh, I said it's winky. Uh, oh, you said it's winky. It's yeah. winky. Oh, fuck, I got hit. <laughs> That's the name of the shady bartender in fucking um, Adventures of Mr. Toad. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I've never watched it. I don't know if to, whether to trust you. No, it is, yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Have you? What is the Adventures of Mr. Toad? Was that a Disney movie? The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Oh, I see. It's one of my favorite. I know that there's a, a wild ride that he goes on. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. That's your mama pussy opening up oh for me. Oh God, a star shaped. <laughs> I know. Chocolate butt. <laughs> Chocolate bar. Chocolate star. The chocolate bar. <laughs> 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 the only kind of ass only. I think you missed the subtleties. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually um, that's actually the treat that, or that's what J.K. Rowling wanted to name the treats in um, in Harry Potter. I was like chocolate. chocolate I think chocolate frogs will be a bit more age appropriate, Miss <laughs> Rowling. <laughs> And then she's like, HOMO! <laughs> <laughs> and then she named a racist epitaph character after that person. Yeah. I'm, your, your wizard's name is gonna be Joseph! Yeah. Yeah. What's that? You're, you're indigenous and Latino? I'm gonna call you Beanpole. Bean... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. What's that? You're fat? <laughs> I'm gonna call you fat. <laughs> I'm gonna call you McDonald O'Hare. McDonald. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna call you McDonald O Scalington Break. O Scaling. Oh, that's that's terrible. <laughs> that was. So ter I didn't even get it. No, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh damn. Kirby got the kink ability. Yeah, bro, he looks like he's in drag. It's lit. I wish all Kirby abilities were just him in drag. Them in drag? Is Kirby a he? I think he's a he they. That's that's hella rad. Because I think it was originally supposed to be a like a just a they them a gendered entity, but then they're just like eh, he's easier. Hmm. So I think he's just considered a he they now. I will consider Kirby he they. Yeah. So he's both. Huh? I wanna- Oh, did I tell you guys? Here, hold on. Um, let me get some more water. I'm sorry, my throat is just really dry right now. Why don't you just bring the water? Why In a bottle. Why don't you bring a better attitude? What? Why don't you? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Why don't I? Did I tell you guys I met cult members yesterday? No, go on. It was pretty fucking wild. Um, I was coming back from my partner's home. Uh, I was staying the night with them. And I was asked to go to a tea party uh, for this musician I met. Um, and she invited me to her tea party, and it was pretty all right. And, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, so, you know, I was helping them prepare some of the stuff, and the other, this one person who was there, and I shan't be naming names, um, just in case. Um, oh, goodness, <laughs> Amelia. <laughs> um, but I asked this person, like, oh, so how did you meet the person hosting the event? Mm -hmm. And the person was, this person was straight up like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in the same cult as them. Oh, I was okay. like, excuse me? <laughs> um, and they're like, yeah, we're part of Unicult. Without any further elaboration. I'm like. Unicult Enterprises. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, mm, okay. And so I went up to the bathroom um, to escape. <laughs> um... Uh, oh, that was weird. Oh, but yeah, so I go to the bathroom and I look up Unicult, and it, it is indeed a real thing. This guy just, this person was just, he, they weren't just trying to, uh, pull a very elaborate prank on me. Um, was, was yesterday even April Fool's Day anymore? No, yesterday was the second. Shit, okay. Uh, but yeah, so I guess Unicult is this Los Angeles-based cult of, um... Of anarchists. It's weird. It's like, why do you need a cult if you're an anarchist? Yeah, it seems contradictory. Yeah, but like, apparently their whole thing is that there's this person who goes by Unicorn Unicrom. 
And this person who uses Z Zer pronouns, so I'm gonna have to try and get used to that. Mm -hmm. Um Ziz Z is that how you would say it? What? Ziz Ziz whole thing <laughs> is that uh Zay Z Z Unicorn well, had an had an incredibly difficult time with like like drug use and stuff. And once they there recovered, <laughs> once there they recovered, they were like, you know what? I have to spread my you know seed of knowledge to the to the rest of the the like, Los Angeles area. Like the guy in New Zealand. So they started like doing TikToks about how like oh yeah we should promote bodily autonomy and autonomy from from government overreach, sure. which is cool, and. That basically is it. like, why do you need a cult for that? Why do you have to call it a cult if you're basically just an anarchist? Um, they have this whole thing where it's like you can pay eleven dollars to be a part of eleven dollars a, uh, a month to be a part of our Discord server. I was like, ugh, that's not very uh, that's not very anarchist of you. I don't like this. Um, but yeah, they're in the same cults, and apparently this unicorn person, um, unicorn just purchased a compound out in Georgia, so. Uh, I'm looking forward to reading the news about whatever goes down there. Yeah, that seems weird. Yeah, I was, um... I, was, I wasn't uncomfortable, because, again, it's not like I totally disagree with their political philosophy. I'm just like, it's, it's, a, it's an awfully um, rambunctious way of going about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that was the first time I've met um, just completely out... Cult members, just people really? who are, yeah, just people who are like, yeah, I'm a part of a cult. I actually, I've actually been well associated with these cult members. Are you they, gonna say they, like they, a church? They believe that like, um, that like all people are like evil. All and, people are evil. Yeah, well, they're that they they're born evil. Oh, and, I and see. And then like this guy two thousand years ago like <laughs> died, and now that's okay now. You know what? I think I've heard of this one too. Mm. No, but I have a Met it's Mario. Before. It's Mario fans. <laughs> yeah, it's my hero fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they smell so bad. No, because of all their sin. <laughs> yeah. um, I haven't met Scientologists before. Really? Like up and up. In Hollywood? <laughs> yeah, because they were like. Um, I remember I was I was going to a Capitan Theater with my girlfriend, uh -huh. and um, we're walking down the street, and there's guys like, oh, like here, take this flyer. Hold on, wait, wait. I'm gonna try and get that power. Oh, I forgot. I need to be Kerbus. Um. And he's like, oh, take this flyer, like, you know, we show movies, blah, 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 and I was like... HELL YEAH! And, uh, and I was like, okay, cool. Um... I was like, well, I was just trying to be friendly. And then I was, um... <laughs> KING DO! <laughs> I, tell him, I, I think you have to wait until the whole health bar shows up or else they won't take damage. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I hit my words there. You stand corrected. And, um... And they're like, oh yeah, they're they're talking about uh, what are they called? Dianetics. Dianetics, oh, yeah. yeah. And I was yeah. like, why does that sound so familiar? I was it's like, what? Tenacious like, D. yeah, it was because it's an HSD. <laughs> That's how you get all the midichlorians out of your system, or whatever. Dianetics much better than Krishna. <laughs> Dianetics much better indeed. <laughs> and all you people yeah, sit tremendously. Tremendous. Is it the people oh, in the back? We're gonna <laughs> pull the with me and KG. All right. Oh god! But was it was it basically like oh yeah this was directed by L. Ron Hubbard or something? It shit? was just like and they're like oh like yeah come come in here like oh shit they uh, like we have like movies and I was like and then I was just like I like it still hadn't hit me that they were Scientologists until like literally at the bottom of the flyer and like fine print oops it's I like I must get the gear it's like you know check out www.churchofscientology.com or whatever Oof. and I was like oh and I'm like now nah, we're good or then we just laugh and he's like trying to like just trying to be like impulsive like like come on like come on you know let's go uh, and they're like nah <laughs> that sucks man I'm sorry for your traumas um I've never talked to Scientologists like straight up but uh oh in um in Pasadena, in Old Town, there's actually a Scientology, like, bookstore slash, I don't know, conversion center is probably what it is. Um, but, um, 
I've seen like workers there because they have like entire like uniforms. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen workers just kind of like standing there, uh, like uh, probably on their break or something, like outside of the building, which, and they're always smoking. I mean, shit. If you're in the Church of Scientology, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably. I'd probably like drink myself to death. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even really understand what like Scientology is. It's a it's it's a, a, it's like a, a scheme. It really is. It's all religion. Yeah, but like Scientology is like um, organized religion. I should say. The Scientology is a Scientology isn't like a like Christianity where it has like thousands of years of basis in um, in mythology. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the fucking Bill Burbit. <laughs> what what is that? I don't know. I don't where know. where he talks about like there's thousands of years in between of. Scientology was started by L. Ron Hubbard. There's like, there's like video footage of this guy stubbing his toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch it. I don't remember it completely, but well, I, I mean, that's funny. it's true though. Yeah. But yeah, it's like the whole thing is that L. Ron Hubbard wrote a series of science fiction novels that I believe he entirely intended to 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 advertise a science fiction, and then a whole bunch of people were like, well, "No, this shit's real." Um. And the whole thing about Scientology, the belief system, is, you know, once upon a time, there was this, um, there was this alien civilization, and they were destroyed by another alien civilization, and their souls were sucked into the, uh, into the ether of space, you got trillions of alien souls, and now they're all in company, they're all inhabiting our bodies, um, you know, millions of years after this happened. Uh, and in order to get the alien souls out of your body, and to cleanse yourself of their trauma, you got to go to conversion care therapy. Um, so this L. Ron Hubbard didn't write these books with the intention of it being a religion. Yes, like it was just literally. I, just I'm thing? pretty sure that I'm pretty sure it started out like that, and then eventually it was just like, all right. Yeah, L. Ron, because L. Ron Hubbard was probably making tons of money off it, so he's probably uh, uh, like, hey, why? Like enabling it. Yeah, why? Why stop the gravy train when uh, the turkey is still warm? Love, Shit, bro. Love grave. Just like Mary lying about how she was impregnated, impregnated by God. Yeah. That's probably how it happened. <laughs> yeah, it was just like a big it was it was probably just a fib. Yeah. I mean real realistically, like it could have I don't I don't know, like either she cheated on Joseph or it could have been that she was oh, raped. She yeah, and just didn't want to, either way did not want to uh because I mean like even then back then if like a woman was raped you're still, you know. Yeah, yeah. Seen yeah. as like you're it's your fault. As an adulteress. Yeah. Or it could have just been Joseph and Mary just had sex. Yeah. And, and they're like let's lie about it. <laughs> let's let's they're like how big do you think this will be in 30 years? Yeah. yeah sees Jesus on the cross like hmm. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have kept it. I going. see this on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. I see this in the back of someone's Ford. <laughs> And then, Dr. Baber. and then Mormonism is just Jesus came from space or something? No, um... Or he's on a planet now. Yes, yes. Wait, hold on. Olab or something like that. Yeah, yeah, so, because I think that is close. Uh, Mormonism is Jesus is an alien and that if you die, you get your own planet. Jehovah's Witness, I think, is Jesus was actually alive for at least several, hun several centuries. And uh, the person who founded it saw, like... Witnessed the return of God in Minnesota. <laughs> Some steel bar on shit. <laughs> Are you gonna get the water ability? Yeah, I'll take it. Cool. I always like the water ability because when you yeah when you dash you're surfing. USA. Mm -hmm. Surfing USA. Or we're doing camping USA like in Reptile Destruction days. Ugh. I don't even remember how that went, dude. I <laughs> mean either. Um, that was, that was probably the most leftist the band got. Yeah, kind of. That was when like, wait a minute, <laughs> things kind of suck. Yeah. <laughs> we, should, we should make music about this. And then we never did. Because Johnny evaporated. <laughs> um, we love you though, Johnny. Uh, fuck, what was I gonna... Have my what babies, was Johnny. Jehovah's Witnesses or, or what? Jehovah's Witnesses are basically like... I. I think their whole thing was like the the founder of Jehovah's Witnesses were like actually Jesus you know Jesus made himself apparent to me in Minnesota and he gave me these tomes and these tomes contain the true word of God 
And, and all Jehovah's Witnesses are, all their stuff is provided by one company, Watchtower, I think. Really? Yeah, so it's just kind of even more of a grift. That's wild. Like it's just one company that does all the pamphlets, does all the Bibles. And it's just like, yeah. That... Can't see through that? that? I mean, that is such a good, good, uh, grift. That is honestly such a clever way to steal millions upon millions of dollars from people. I'm pretty sure it's Watchtower, yeah. But, um, but yeah. Um, Damned if you, if you do. I just know they don't celebrate birthdays, and that's a little whack. Yeah, yeah, isn't that the, the case? Jehovah's Witnesses don't celebrate any form of holiday? Yeah, or blood transfusions. They don't celebrate those either? <laughs> yeah. They don't celebrate them or participate. Yeah, yeah. It's, which is how S Selena died, right? Selena? Yeah. The, the, the Mexican, uh, Texas artist? artist? Her mother yeah. wouldn't... Her dad. Her dad. Her dad, uh... Was a Jehovah's a Witness? Cut it, Bismarck. And um, she, so was she in like a car crash or something? She was stabbed. Oh Jesus! By, her, by the fan president club? of her fan club. And then, That's and then uh, she, she needed a blood transfusion, and her dad but, said no. What the hell? And they allowed that? Yep. Because it's like, well, next of kin or whatever, you know, bodily autonomy. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that sucks. Because she was. Selena um, could have lived, yeah. perhaps. She wasn't, uh, since she wasn't conscious, they gave, yeah, they gave the decision to next of kin. And because religion has such a hold on even today's medical field, it is just like, nope. It poisons everything, bro. Yep. Oh, that's so gross. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That reminds me of one of the, one of the jokes in community. What? Where, like, they're all, they all have, like, different religious, uh, ideas. Uh -huh. Like, one of them is, like... It's just like, it has this like, oh, I'm part of Buddhism, but when he describes it, it's like a cult. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, when you die, you get turned into vapors or whatever. And then the Jehovah's Witness, Donald Glover is the Jehovah's Witness character. He's just like, there's like, you know, body vapors don't exist. It's just like blood transfusions. <laughs> <laughs> body vapors. <laughs> yeah. It's a good show. Yeah, it's really good. Body vapors, season two. <laughs> Damn, they really lost track after season three. After it's just, it's just Guy Fieri going to different parts of the country, smelling people's armpits. <laughs> Bye, this one. Yes. I'd pay to see that. I, I'd pay to see it once, maybe. I don't, I don't think I'd want to see it again. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. I think the next stage is the boss level. Ooh, dope. I don't remember. I, I haven't so. Been, I haven't paid attention to uh, to Kirby. <laughs> yeah, we've just been talking about religion and other things and like other like cults <laughs> and what you say during sex and restaurants. They're still separating religion and cults. Bro. <laughs> what do you? Uh, what's something? <laughs> this bit is gonna go nowhere. What is something that you could say in church and during sex? <laughs> Amen. Uh, oh God. Amen. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, Amen. God. <laughs> You can speak in tongues, like when you're going down on them. <laughs> My knees are starting to hurt. <laughs> Is this where I kneel? <laughs> Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Forgive me, Father, for I will sin. <laughs> um... Yawn, this is boring. Yawn. <laughs> Can it, are, we, are we going home? <laughs> <laughs> are we going home? Whoa! Ah, my bad. Ah. I was being a bit silly. I'm a bit solo. Um, um, the words are in the pamphlet. <laughs> say the line. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure we should be here right now? <laughs> Do we really have to dress up for this? <laughs> Who's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me. Pass the collection plate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gross! Huh, I guess I can't eat meat for 40 days after this. <laughs> the legs in the plate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you make sure to give your 10%? <laughs> Father, I have sinned. <laughs> There's wine after this, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the Chinese buffet after, right? Crackers! <laughs> <laughs> Crackers! <laughs> Crackers! <laughs> wine. We're gonna go abuse restaurant staff after this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, basically. <laughs> Wait, is it who, down? Who went down? Oh, my bad. We're going down, no, down, no, no down. No one works with the, the church crowd when you work at a restaurant, man. Mephisto's Cafe. 
going down, down. Do you get like a lot of like church people on Sundays? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Just all well dressed, no tip, and they make sure to treat you like shit. Eesh. Funny how that works, huh? <laughs> it it makes total sense. I remember one time this I guess this Christ like man <laughs> like blew up on me because I guess his wings are cold. And um <laughs> I was just like he was like, excuse me, you know, I don't remember exactly what he said. This was pre COVID. Ooh, we got a thing coming up. Oh. Oh, that sounded nice. It was. Um yeah, he blew up on me like these wings are cold, blah blah blah, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll take him back for you, dude." And as I asked the other kid who was like, "I oh, guess also had wings," he was like, "Oh, you're cool. I can take him back too if they're together." And he's just like, "No, it's fine." And then you came in his wings. And then I, I, I went, told the manager, had him refired, and that's when I had to go to break. Or I was about to go to break. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess the server of that table was like, "Oh, Bren, the the guy at this table wanted to talk to you." And I was like, uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> I just went to break. And then I came back and I was getting ready and stuff. What is this? Oh, and, is this sand? And then the, uh, I don't remember this one. The, the manager was like, oh, Bran, they're, that table wants to talk to you. And I was like, they're still here? Jeez. And he's like, yeah, they were waiting for you. And I was like, oh, fine. What happened? I was, just, and then I went and the guy was like, hey, I just wanted to apologize for the way I acted. And I was just like, it's fine, dude. Like, it's just like, no, man. Like, the way I treated you wasn't. And I was like, dude, I'd honestly rather wish you just left. I really do not care for <laughs> yeah, your apology, that's, dude. That's silly. It's like, I'm, I'm sure you mean it. You probably only somewhat mean it. But I don't really care. Like, yeah, he's just being, he was being a dick. And now he probably only is, he's only apologizing probably because he did that in front of his family. Because he feels like he needs to. Yeah, because it's. And it's just like, and, and it's, for the like, social implications. And even if he did mean it, it was just like I honestly do not care. Like, just fucking, like it's not like you ruined my day or anything. Fuck you, you're ruining my day now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it was just like, ugh. oh shit, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's fun. Oh, that's sick! I get a big fist. Working around the restaurant's fun. I wish I got a- Oh, that's another thing you could say in sex and at a church. I got a big fist. Yeah. Well, only, you could only say that if you have a big fist. Unless you're a liar, of course. So you could just say it at any point. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't make it true, but you can. <laughs> I don't like how wobbly that guy was. Did you see? I think he was wobbly enough. <laughs> I think he was a little too wobbly. Like, they could have cut down the wobbliness by like 10%. <laughs> I want to cut down your wobbliness. <laughs> you're telling me, bro. I want to cut it down too. Wobbledy. Uh, wobbledy, wobbledy and wobbledo. <laughs> watch out for it. Watch out. Don't get caught in his rotundra. <laughs> when he wobbles, he's, he's driving nuts. his Toyota rotundra. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? How many wobbledies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's something you can say at a restaurant. You wobble these nuts. Uh, <laughs> can you wobble my nuts a bit? Uh, <laughs> sure. Can you, whoa, 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 can you return whoa, whoa. them? I Consider your nuts you wobbled. send this back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say at church and a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> These meatballs are cold. <laughs> There's a little too much sauce on this. <laughs> on the cracker. It's, it's, a little, little, it's a little dry. Could I get more marinara? Something you could say at church and a restaurant. This this book's too big. <laughs> <laughs> this book's too big. Kind of. You ever go to Cheesecake Factory? The Bible. Shit's a fucking... Yeah, dude. It's a phone book. <laughs> And it's just like half of it's like, oh, it's this chicken thing, but now it has mushrooms. <laughs> it's like, just cut it down, dude. This is a bigger, slightly bigger chicken thigh than the one on the floor. <laughs> the cheese <laughs> the one on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> the cheesecake section's 100 pages. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the only good part. <laughs> you guys right, are you down to call it here? Yeah, for... I was about to say. All right. Cool. All right, get out of here, Russian Kirby character. <laughs> you mean Mugalo? Get a load of that guy. You mean Mugovich. Get a load of that guy. You see him? Look at him. He's Russian. Look at him. Look at that Russian. guy. Oh, he's going out of here. I'm Russian too. <laughs> Look at Kirby. That's me. Why were you? Why were you making much? You saying some <laughs> shit about the fucking sharp people? Or I mean Russians. Sharp people? <laughs> Shut up. Are you gonna say, say sharp people? Yeah. What? Okay. I call Christians. Sorry, you better be sorry. <laughs>